Hello, let's play a bunch of Daily Word games. Sorry that these have been spotty lately. Um, it's kind of the first one to go when I'm low on time because it's such a long video and takes so long to edit and publish. So I apologize about that. I do love to do these videos, but my time this week was just completely shot and then I got behind, which made things worse. So I am trying to get back on track. Just know that sometimes maybe this video doesn't appear and I'm okay. <laughs> All right, so... Today's bonus game is Searchal, so I'm going to start with Finds. All right, I'm going to go for the left word here, which means I can just guess Trace or something like that. Let's guess Trace. All right, just an R on the left. Let's see if the right word just have has one option, because I don't know, like F-A-I-R, Fair, Fairy? Probably that's what it is. It is, okay. Still nothing on the left, just that R. It's not Error or anything like that. I'm just trying to think if it's like just a bunch of R's, but... Um, there could still be multiple R's. So we got like GR or PR, BR, so I don't really care what goes before that R. Um, you know what? I thought of growl. That's pretty fun. Ooh, GRO, group? No. Uh, what is a group of fairies called? What would you call a group of fairies? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, it could be double O. Groom? There we go. A fairy groom. <laughs> okay. Well, let's do Fibble. Each guess has a lie, so it colors just like Wordle would, but then before it displays it, it takes one of the colors and changes it. Exactly one of them. So maybe this F should have been gray or yellow. We don't know. Um, is there any way I'm doing F? I think I can do fairy. No, I can't. Fairy has way too many lies. Sorry. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. I figured it out. These R's are not possible. You, Wordle cannot color a gray R and then a yellow R because it's if, if the only way this R could be colored is if there's two R's in the word, in which case this is saying there's not, or if, it, if it's green there. Um, yellows prefer to color the leftmost first. So one of these R's has to be lying, which means this F, I, and A are truthful. Now, this R could be lying, lying meaning we have two R's in the word. Uh, we'd be, we'd ha it would have to be F-I-R-R, because this yellow would be truthful. I guess we could go F-R and then like something R-I, but that doesn't work. So we'd have to be like F-I-R-R, -R. that also doesn't work. So I think this R is truthful, I think this R is lying, I think we just don't have an R. So I think it's just like F, like something like F-I-N, we'll just exclude the R. F-I something, I was thinking about final, but we can't do that. Um, what starts with F-I? I guess we could do like FL. Ooh, the problem is I can't do the I third. Which really makes me think it should go fourth or for or second. Um Wow, oh, it's actually kind of hard to think of a word. F I Well, I need to make sure I turn to hard mode on. Okay, it's on now. Um Fists. Don't really want to guess that. Can't guess first. Um, fill, fillet? Fillet is interesting. Alright, I, I believe this F-I. I think I got an L, E, or T. Maybe the E? Like, could we end in E, or could, the, could it be E something again? Um, I don't think it's F-I-E. Ooh, like, a, fe a feast? Doesn't work, but... Hmm. Yeah, I kind of I kinda like this. Or this. Um, maybe something like find. Ooh. Okay, we have a lie between these eyes. They obviously disagree with each other. One of them must use an I, and so this is true. We already knew the F was true, though. So that's interesting that they're disagreeing now. Um, well, that means there also is no E in the word, because there's a, there, there's one of the lies is used by this, so we can't use two more lies to make both of these E's lies. So they have to be true, because they agree. They can't, we can't just have one of them lying. Um... So maybe maybe we are something like F L something I. Like fluid? Oh we can't we can't oh we why can't we do we can't do fluid because it has two lies in fillet. Ooh, so like if I move this I, that's the lie in fillet. So I can't actually use the L. Hmm. If I use the L. Oh, that's the problem. I can't actually I can't do FL because then this L is lying, but then also the I is lying because it's supposed to be in place. Interesting. 
Ah, uh, I think I'm stuck with FI and then like an L or a T. I don't know where they go. Um, oof. Like F I L L. I, I'm gonna guess fills. I know it's it won't be the answer because it's plural, but we're gonna give it a try. All right, this eye is back to green. Ooh, and this is another bad coloring. Amazing. I almost never get that. And so these actually have to be true because one of these L's has to be lying. We can't have just the yellow there. So that means that is the lie, and that means this is truthful. So I'm thinking we can't really have two L's, right? If this was lying, we'd be FI something. Oh, wait. Uh, we'd be at... If this L was lying, our, our only choice is to do FI L something L, and that's just not a word. So I think we have an L. No, I think this is lying. We either have an L here, or we don't have an L at all, and all we've got is this T somewhere. Like, Fitch. Is Fitch a word? It accepted it. Great. Oh, finally a lie that's obvious. All right. Those are all lying. Um, so, oh, sorry, those are all true. So that doesn't mean the T was lying. Okay. I think I figured it out. So F-I something T-H, but not, oh, not, fil not filth, not finch. Like, none of those work. Sorry, Finch, I don't know why Finch would even be a consideration. Um, fifth. Wow, that's a tough word. Okay. All right, let's play between all. Let's start with fifth. 2.6% away from all Zs. Is that in the Zs or is that in the Ys? Or even the Xs? Let's do a really early Z word, like ZA. I'm curious how many Z words there are. It's probably not 2.6%, but... What would be a ZA word? Um, it's hard to think of Z words at all. Like, I thought of zebra. Honestly, I don't think it's even worth doing a ZA guess. I think I should do like an early Y guess, like yacht. Yeah, okay. So we're, we're in like X or W even. Let's try xenon for the X. All right, we're in W. Yeah. Amazing that 2.6 goes all the way down to W. Um, how about something like right, like really a later W? Not quite. Um, ooh, what do I want to do here? W O, like woman. Okay, finally something went up. So we're between W O and W R. Closer to W R. So I wonder if something like rain uh, is rain ring, like you rang out a tile, a, a towel. Can't talk rack, like you're racking your brain for what the answer to this is. I think we might be in W-O territory. Um, woven? Oh, that went down. Ooh. Wove. It's like one word before woven. Wovee. <laughs> the thing that was woven is the wovee. The thing that was woven. Yeah, okay. Um, W-O-T? W-O-U? Wound? There we go. Found it. Okay. Hey, why is my streak still one? Uh, this doesn't make any sense. All right, it's fine. Um, oh, because I missed yesterday also. Right, that makes sense. All right, we're at 500. We'll start with wound. Could be worse. One yellow, of course. Why would it be anything but one yellow? One of the vowels is what I start with. O is more common than U. So let's just like stick an O in the middle. Um, sport, first thing I thought of. Still one yellow, so... We'll just keep going with the O until we're out of out of options. Um, maybe hmm, what would I do with that O? Minor can't do minor. It's hard to think of a word where just one letter fourth. <laughs> um, canoe doesn't work, unfortunately. No N. What am I doing? Let's think about what letter goes after that O. For my first thought, it was Y, actually, like decoy, but there's no D in this case. McCoy. <laughs> so O-E oh, oh, was another thought I had. Didn't really go anywhere. Um, O-L? Don't see how that works. O-X? Like detox, can't do it. Um, OC, OB, no, no words end in V. 
O-M. Maybe the O wouldn't go there. Maybe we, like, start with O, like... Surely there's a word that starts with O that I can do, right? Oxbow. Almost works. It's just the W that has a problem. Um, I don't, I don't know how to, like, do this. Like, I want to do, like, taboo. But there's no T in this case. Um, I could just not use the, the O at this point. I can't think of a word. I could use this U. That way I have a vowel, and then I could use like the R, put it second. I like putting R second. The U cannot go third. So we would be like, ooh, what, how would we use that U? Maybe we don't want to use the U. We have other vowels to work with. Um, that way I could put something in the middle. Use, use the N, D, or W. I don't care which one. Let's come up with a word. Something like, I almost said grind, but there, that would be both N and D. Um, Hmm. Grail? Oh, I need to use a W, N, or D. Keep wanting to end in N, D. What about, like, ending in N, E? Um, Brian. Brian would work. Let's try it. Three yellows in Brian. Okay. So, let's say I got the N right, I got the R right, and maybe the E or the I. I'm not sure which one. Probably not the B. So, maybe an ER word. It could be an I-E-R word. That's definitely possible. Um, what if I guess something like fixer? So I can ignore the X if it's not it. Okay, I think we are an I-E-R word. I think that's confirmed at this point. So what are we actually doing then? Mm, aimer, someone who aims. Nope. Liger? No, oh no, I don't want to lose to an IER trap. What's left? I think we get a bunch of guesses. Like, what's left? Could Oh, it could be river. Could definitely be river. Ooh. What did I get wrong? Is it the V or the R? I don't see another word with V. Ricer? I think ricer is the only option, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to go with Ricer. Oh, no. What was it? Diver? We had a D the whole time. Wait, what? Oh, what a horrible solve. Completely ignored that I had a D the whole time. No, I deserve that loss. Oof. Yeah, sorry for doing this so tired. Um, Don't really have an excuse there. Let's move on. Let's do polygonal. Um, Hexpert's on for now. These repeat and these repeat. Six letter word. I usually like to try for Hexpert on a six letter word. Um, R-E-R -E comes to mind. Or like D-E-D -E -D even. Like mended. All gray for mended. Yikes. Um, like an S-I-S. -I, uh, I don't know how to do this. Um... All gray is not not what you want to see here. Like what what would do here? What would do this? Um, maybe a plural. And then would this still be a vowel or? I think it would still have to be a vowel. I could try a or a I maybe sis. Didn't I just look at sis? I literally just looked at sis. Um. I don't know how it would be a plural in this case, actually. Um, what about like STS? That happens sometimes, but what would go before this T? It would be a vowel. At. It's something. I'm going to guess a test. I, actually, I think that has two T's. Yeah, can't. Um, it would let me use an E. Even in Hexpert. Um, artists. <laughs> um, like I put an I here, but I don't know what to start with. So not that then. Not that. Um, 
What else does this? Like an R here with a different vowel? Ooh. Okay, I, I might be able to come up with a quasi um filler. Um I'm not sure if this one works though. What would I want to do in a quasi filler? Quasi filler would mean I'm still in Hexpert, but I, I do a word that's not possible because it uses a one or more of the gray letters in mended. Um what about something like an O U O something? Um Wow, bow wow. Um Pop. Mm. Can I just do like P R? I think like priori might be a word. No, no this O has to repeat. Prioro. Um, priori. <laughs> no, darn it. Um, F R F L. Ah. I, I, I kind of like the idea of ending an A at this point. Like a T, like ST strata. I figured it out. Wow, from all grace. Ooh, that took a while. Okay. What were, what were my options here? 26 ordinary words. But look how many have E's in them. Who doesn't have an E? Strata. Torsos. Strata and torsos are the only common words without an E. I think torsos would have been possible. Okay. Interesting. Let's do the mini. Starts and ends with the same letter. Let's just check if it's a plural. Um, stars. Not a plural. Okay. Um, we'll put that A somewhere. What do we want to start and end with? Uh, is there like a D-A-E-D -E word or something? Dated, but there's there's no T, so let's find something better. Um, uh, I like that E. You know, I wonder if we just start and end with E, and then like E-A-E... -E. Mm, what, what does this? <laughs> Darn, E-V <laughs> from Pokemon. Um, I don't think that's that's spelled like that or something. Anyway. Um, that's the only reason it didn't work. Eagle. All right, so that's an A. This might be an L. We could be lapel. Nice. Lapel. That's a good word. All right, right on to symbol. Start with blaze. Ooh, okay, so the Z caught one. We could technically be BL ending in E. Um, more likely... We are like EA here. So, because these would be the out of place ones, meaning a different letter goes in those spots. So, EAD seems pretty nice, like tread. Let's give that a try. The EA was correct, and we end in probably R or T, but R seems more common. Smear. Oh, it's EAT. Okay. I was wrong. Um,. We could do a great guess, but it wouldn't actually be great because there's no R. Um, but a great guess is always great. How about cheat? Things people accuse me of. No. Wheat. Okay. Alrighty, let's move on. Fusel. So our first twist is we're only going to get greens. It's kind of a throwaway. Well, all we know is there's no W there, H there, E there, A or T there. Horrible one to get first is basically you get nothing. Um, so let's do a really nice word here. Unfortunately, we won't learn about the second letter, but I'm thinking about trace anyway, so let's do it. There could still be an A or an E in the word. We don't know. There could even still be a T in the word. All right, none of those in except maybe an R second, so let's do R second. We have to repeat a letter, though. So what's the, you know, the best way to repeat a letter is actually to do like an RRY here, I think. So, and then what vowel? We got rid of A and E, which is nice. You guess sorry. I'm sorry for not doing this every day recently. All right, no R either. Well, they had an info. It's just been, nope, it's not in there. Um, okay, so we know it's not SH. That's something from wheat. 
each cat goes second. We could do an S L O maybe. I'm gonna do sloop just because it tries to find the O. All right, we found the O. We are not allowed to guess E H I M X or Y. Oh no, not an X. Um, okay, and there's an L somewhere. Where does that L go? There's not another O. Oh, do we end in L or is like an L here somewhere? Um, probably L at the end. It seems to look a little better there. I don't like it either place, but I gotta put it somewhere. Um, do we think swole with two L's is a word? It is. I might as well guess it. Oh, I didn't notice that there was a lie, but at least we found the lie. The lie is that it's S L O. Um, okay. Whoops, I forgot that that had a twist. Here, you can tell I'm tired. Um, alphabetical letters here. We start with S L O. Let's just try to get the the answer here. Um, slosh would be interesting. Let's give it a try. It was slosh. Oh, that was interesting. Okay. So I could have gotten the answer on the third guess if I thought of slosh. <laughs> I don't know why I would have. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's play search all. We need to autocomplete. Is there a god of? Is there a god of? Four letters long. Is there a god of? Is there a god of deer? No? Okay. Maybe we end in E. Is there a god of cane sugar? I'd be the god of cane sugar. Okay. Um, we do end in E. Is there a god of time? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Is there a god of time? I guess it depends on what religion you're asking about. All right. Well, uh, let's look that up. Yes. So Kronos was known as the Greek god of time and was considered to be the father of time. So that's where chronometer comes from. That's nice. Okay, cool. Or any chrono suffix meaning time. That makes a lot of sense. All right. Well, how'd you do? <laughs>